Welcome to the third part of Premiere Pro tutorial. Uh, we want to continue what we did on previous session. As you can see, we uh, somehow made a kind of sequence like this with different kinds of layers. And now uh, we're going to do three things for today's tutorial. One of them is uh, putting some transitions for our text, for our logo and uh, some effects on uh, the text itself, which was number two. And number three is uh, changing some uh, effects on audio increase it decrease it or give some special effects uh, to uh, to the audio actually the person who's speaking or the audio itself uh, something that the video itself has so uh, as far as you remember we have just brought something like a logo we called it like this then we brought uh, a text and we had two different kinds of videos actually I changed this video because uh, most of you said that the videos are the same it's really hard to uh, actually uh, see both together it was, this was somehow annoying so i decided to change uh the second layer video which is in v2 layer and i just changed it to another video so you can see that both videos are uh completely distinct and there's nothing uh mixed together and actually the pictures are somehow different the videos are somehow different something you see uh, is not exactly the same as what happened in previous session this is why that I changed this video in here so right now I'm gonna show you how to uh, give some transitions to your logo for example on your or your uh, text for example there is a logo in here and I come to the logo layer at the beginning of the logo as I showed you there are two forms of arrows one to the right one to the left so you can drag it right or drag it left uh, in the way you can make it bigger or smaller you can make it longer you can make it visible for longer period of time in uh, your sequence but I don't want to drag it right or left what I want to do is to right click on it and press apply default transition when I press the apply default transition Actually, this layer is my text layer, not logo. So when I press space bottom and it goes forward, what happens is this that it's a kind of opacity happens on my text. It uh, disappears little by little. It's like fading and it goes forward. And if I just do the same thing for the begin, uh, sorry, the end of the clip, apply default trans uh, transition. Again, when I come to the end of the clip and I play that. For example, uh, it was black because uh, my video ended in here and all remaining uh, is just this video because this layer is black, it's not showing anymore, but this layer is uh, white and the video is still continuing. So if I bring this layer a bit forward until this blue line, you can see that the video is getting back. So it's not important, I just wanted to show what happened here. And when I uh, play the preview again, you see that this must be again disappearing in a kind of slow motion way as you can see this happened but normally they didn't have uh, these transitions and when you play your preview you can see that when it comes to the text it boom, pops up suddenly without any effects or without anything you can um, even add different kinds of transitions for that there are different kinds of uh, options to replace your transition instead of being faded like this for example you can right, right click on it and apply default transition or you can even come to the effects in actually this part uh, I, I don't remember what that is called in English actually and there is something like effects in that there is something like transitions you can type so you can see different kinds of transitions in here for example deep to white deep to black cross uh, dissolve adaptive dissolve or different kinds of things you can just come down and for example I bring uh, flip over at the beginning of my clip or at the beginning of my logo or text whatever here is our text layer and we leave it so let's see what happened actually uh, this transition changed all the uh, screen I, I don't want to do that I just want to change these um, transition on my text uh, part not all my screen all my video or picture so this is not a good one I will come and choose this one again I will play and now yeah 
somehow it changed it is just fading like a kind of circle it's just appearing in front of us in a kind of circle and uh, when I play that again you can see that comes like this or maybe you can add something like a VR light rays to see what that works with this slider when I play that you see again it's like fading or you can come down you can use slide even it's something simpler when you play that it should be like kind of slide yes as you can see it comes from left to the right these are prepared transitions for your text or for your liar or for even um, your picture or logo but you can also add keyframes I'm not gonna talk about keyframes right now but adding keyframes uh, are also possible for uh, your video text or uh, logo or anything into the project so that you can uh, change the way that all of them appear into the sequence so by that you can actually add it let's try something else like split if I play the preview you can see the text is split or something like from right to left from left to right and that so there are lots of transition as you can see in the left part in here when I searched transitions into the effect part and I can do that even for my logo this is my logo uh, section my logo layer which is in here and then I can right click to the beginning of that then apply default transition and I can choose something like for example uh, something like random vibe for example when I come to the beginning and I play that see the logo is being like this it uh, gives actually a kind of effect view to itself so if I want to make it bigger to make it better and more visible take a look what happens this is the way that our logo can be appeared at the top of our uh, screen so uh, for you can even do that for the end of your lawyer or the end of your clip end of your logo or text or anything so i want to give different other kinds of effects to my text i've actually brought a kind of text to my clip and uh, i just want to make it a little more beautiful a little, a little more charming but let me tell you that as i've already told you it is good to work with lower thirds lower thirds make your video more beautiful actually more exciting so you can produce uh, lower thirds by your own um, task or even you can bring pre prepared actually pre-produced lower third templates by Premiere Pro or After Effects and you can work on them do some changes there will be a kind of tutorial about uh, lower thirds how to make them with templates and how to make them without templates based on your taste uh, in order to put that under your videos to make it more beautiful so uh, right now there is a text like this I come and somehow click somewhere around here so that I can be in the middle of my uh, clip and uh, I will show the text clearly in previous session you saw that we changed something like the color the stroke we just made the stroke thicker right now I just wanna uh, click on this tab which is shadow when I click on it there will be something like uh, numbers 124 degrees I don't know different kinds of things so let's play with these number to see what happens uh, don't panic to, pl to play with the numbers in Premiere Pro because if you don't do that you actually don't discover new things so what I'm gonna do is to press for example this one to the right and then you can see there is a shadow coming and the shadow is uh, going far from the text or even you can come uh, closer to the text for example I want a shadow like this then I can uh, make that shadow be more visible or no it can be uh, faded in a way that I don't see what is written under the text because the shadow actually if I bring it to for example a number like 0 or 4 or 3 I can see what is written even even into the shadow but if I increase that the shadow cannot be uh, red actually so I want to put it somehow like zero because I want to make it more real I want all my letters have shadows for itself then uh, you can see even the shadow can be uh, actually lighter or darker in this way I, I just want it to be like this and this is actually the way that you can show how much your shadow must be visible this one is also for showing it 
darker or lighter I want it for example this much dark and then that's it so if I go back to the beginning of my video as uh, you know I just apply the kind of transition on that and then I play the preview to see what happens then the transition will be like this let me bring that uh, slide again this is what happens to the text it comes in a kind of slide way and it has a shadow for itself uh, let me change this text actually it's a kind of somehow uh, <laughs> freaking crypto studio don't forget to subscribe me and just share these tutorials for whoever who need it and wait for other videos there will be lots of uh, tutorials for premiere after effects even cinema 40 and different kinds of things so this is what I did and then there is something like background in here so maybe you ask yourself what happens if we do that don't panic let's just do that to see what happens there will be a kind of shaded shadow background maybe you want to give a background to that this much black or you want to give a background uh, with a little light color a little light black color or you want to make that background uh, thicker bigger or smaller and even you can give some uh, curved or round shape around your uh, background like this which is like a shadow for example and even you can change the color I just want to have a kind of green something like this color and then when I press ok there will be a kind of background in this way I change the uh, angles of that in a kind of round way and when I get back to the beginning and I play all the text layer will come like this we added some effects like shadows backgrounds we added the, a kind of transition so it comes uh, from right to left or left to right I didn't want it to be that cold and uh, actually ghostless spritless so this is why uh, I did all these things on that so you can do the same things on uh, other uh, actually layers like logo other videos even but uh, to be more specific you can do all these things in other formats in other parts to in other sections for example like keyframing that belongs to this part this is even possible to do exactly like this and now I want to do some some special actions on the audio so if you want to make the audio uh, be more uh, attractive you want to give more volume or even you want to sometimes uh, bring the volume down you can come to this tab it's audio clip mixer and when you click on it you can see three layers because I actually have three layers a1 a2 and a3 for my audio just actually one of them is a field and this is a1 which is my uh, main clip the white one I mean this layers clip audio and uh, when I play that you see that it is something like a kind of two green cylinder are working like equalizer and uh, then you can increase normally it is zero you can lower it then the voice goes down and the audio uh, gets lower volume or even you can increase it and as you can see hi I'm Anna the audio increased and when you get it back even the audio can be reduced and I'm going to tell you all you need to know I'm just hearing them but uh, do you hear them as well so this is what happened for the audio too this is for today don't forget to subscribe me if there is any question you can ask me and write your suggestions in the comment below please share these tutorials to those who need and wait for the next chapter of this pre premiere pro tutorial i mean part four which will be available next week into the channel have a good day and see you later